Hello, Saffron here with Lone Zelda Scribed Sword. Let's pull out sword. So we have to go down like that, and then A, then up, up, oh, up. There we go. And we've got to raise it scrolled like that. Like that. Of course, scrolled sword. So, yeah. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Link, my master. <laughs> so now we're Master Link. Link. I've had my sus uh, uh, suspicions, but but until uh, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the chamber of the sword, the very place where it was foreto uh, foretold. The youth of the legend would want one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear for this is then that a youth guided by my hand shall fill himself in a place mo most sacred. Started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, overworldly light. At first, I was sure I was seeing things here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prof prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The worlds I have, the worlds, the words I have sworn to keep secret, are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also useful in light, in likeness, yet wise with knowledge, immeasurable. All tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention and transmission. It appears that crit it, it appears that critical section critical critical sections of the pas passage have been lost over the generations. The youth who draws forth the guidance forge shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable um, break, um, spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse for apocalypse from the land such in his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And, and, and united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that, resurrect, that resur resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world down there far more fast than Skyloft. Mother's 
Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden and will sell her. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illum illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within, within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Ah, so the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skull strike. These blasts are, form are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skull strike. Okay, so just go like that, like that. And we put that in. Last link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the cloud barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I've recognized as you as I've recognized you as my master and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. First down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fire says is true, Zelda is alive, alive and no doubt and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what, dan what dangers you may have to face Link, especially down there. But if you've decided to be, to, if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. 
what we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's only the start of the journey, please see. Okay. You do your people proud, Link. Horn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for when the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before we go. <laughs> yep, yep, here it comes. Yes, I want to say thank you. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the colour. But oddly enough, seeing you wear it, yep, 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 I can't bother to read anymore. And now that is the link that we all know. Taking, take care on your journey. Yep, 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 I can't bother to read this, been reading for ages now. And that's the link we all know. That's the link with his green clothes yay now i'll see you next time on legend of zelda discovered sword thank you for watching bye